Hey guys, today we're going to be working on the antacid lab. Uh, this is going to be our setup. I have three burettes that I will uh, be using today, and I'm going to fill those with 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little titration using Congo Red Indicator, as stated in the lab. And we're going to be testing how much acid each one of these uh, antacid tablets can neutralize. Kind of like the same process that would happen in your stomach. Uh, and I'm going to be using a mortar and pestle. We're going to crush them up, powder them, put them in an Erlenmeyer flask, add about 50 milliliters of distilled water uh, to simulate kind of like your, your stomach. And then I will be adding the acid to it. When the indicator goes from a red to a blue and will persist for about four to five minutes, then we've reached our end point. Uh, the end point where the indicator changes from the red to the blue. So I will get this all set up, I'll get the tablets crushed up and weighed, and I will verbally tell you each one of the masses and then how much acid that we use. Uh, at the end you're going to have to fill out the charts and tell me how much calcium carbonate is within each one of these tablets. So hang on there for a second and I'll get this set up. Hey guys, I'm right. back here with our antacid lab. <clears throat> I have some numbers for you to write down. Um, in the top care, I added one tablet to the mortar and pestle, ground it up, and it came up with 1.168 grams for that tablet. For the roll aids, the second one right here, uh, again, one tablet had a mass of 2.570. And for the tongues on the far end, we had 1.831 grams. Now, the top care one I already took care of, I neutralized it, it turned to this purple color. Hopefully, you can see that pretty well. And that's what I'm going for. That means I'm at the end point. One more drop, I'd go blue. One less drop, it was red. In the middle here, the roll aids, it's still working. Uh, it's hydrophobic, does not like to mix with water at all. Uh, so I have to stir it a lot and it will go purple and it'll come back red. But these ones are pretty much done. On the top care one, I used exactly 21.55 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. On the roll aids, I'm still waiting for it to uh, find its endpoint, so we're just going to let that sit as I show you how to use the burette into the tums. Right now, I have this all the way up to the zero line. Zero is up here, 50 is down here, and it kind of goes backwards. As it goes down, the volume is increasing. It's weird, but it works. And what a burette allows us to do is add drop by drop or like 0.05 milliliters at a time. So I'm going to start titrating this one, and we're going to try to get this pink-ish color to get to this purple color where the end point should be. And as we're going, I'll keep stirring this, and I'm pretty sure I'm almost at the end point for the roll aids as well, but don't know that 100%. So I'm just going to start this off with a slow drip, and I'll show you how that works. I turn the valve until it has a steady drip. Okay, I will keep stirring that. And whenever it starts changing colors, I'm going to slow it down so I can get exact volumes. But I know it's kind of hard to see on film or on the, on, the, on the video, but every time it hits, it changes to like a purple. And that's what we're going for. So I don't want to deprive you the opportunity to watch how awesomely exciting a burette is. So here you go. As you can see, it's gone down, you probably can't see, but it's gone down this far, even though it seems like it's been going forever, that's only four milliliters so far. And like I said, the top care one was at uh, 21.55 milliliters of 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid. So I'm gonna guess we're gonna be right about the same. Stir up the roll aids again, and it's, man, those are looking very, very close. I'm gonna add another drop or two of this, just to see what happens. Very bright blue on there. Roll it around. Get back over to this guy. Ooh, it's starting to turn a little bit. I'm just passing 12 milliliters. And on the roll aids, we're gonna go ahead and call that good. 
the roll A, they're hard to see on this, but that's 23. 23.05, 23.05. This guy's starting to separate out. We'll give her a good squirrel. Hopefully you can see that color change. It's going from like this pink to a purple as I stir it. More of the antacid gets introduced to the hydrochloric acid and it changes back color. This is a typical titration. See, these are changing. But the top care one's definitely done. It's at that purple. It says, we're good, no more acid for me. Uh, hydrochloric is just passing 17 milliliters of 0 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid. So hopefully you're uh, listening to the numbers because I'm not going to be posting them anymore because I really want you to watch the video. If I'm going to spend the time doing this, I would love you to spend the time watching it. Uh, the PDF file will be in Schoology, and you're going to figure out uh, basically the chart on the back. I've already told you the brands. You're going to have to read through here and figure out how to figure out how much calcium carbonate is in here. Yep, active ingredient calcium carbonate, calcium carbonate, and how about that, calcium carbonate. Now, this one, my Tums, says 750 milligrams of calcium carbonate per tablet. The roll age says 1,000 milligrams of calcium carbonate per tablet. Ooh, we're getting there. And the top care has 500 milligrams per tablet, or so it claims. You can see that color is definitely changing. This guy is pretty good. Staying to that purple, and that guy's already done. So, hopefully, this is just as exciting for you as it is for me watching the acid drip into the antacid tablet. Ooh, we're starting to get there. See that purple coming? We're going to slow her down. Stop it for a second, give it a good swirl, and see if we can bring any pink back or red. It's not quite to the purple that I would like to see. Add another drop or two, see what happens. Now this one was colored yellow to, be, uh, to start with in the Tums, so I'm not going to get this nice clear purple like I did on the Top Care one because it was not colored. There was no dyes in it. Okay, So this is pretty close to all we're going to see in this one. In this Rolaids one, the Rolaids one, even though you can see a white in there, Oh, you know what? Did turn. I'm gonna add a little bit more to this guy. We're gonna have to have a new volume on it. There is a color I'm looking for. So we're gonna have to add a new volume on that. Give me one second. Read this one, both of them off to you again. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be that roll edge one. And here we are for the tums. On the tums, let me spin this so I can actually see it. On the Tums, I am at, holy cow, 29.00, exactly, 29.00 on the Tums. The Roll Aids reacted a little bit more, must have dissolved some. Pull that up so I can see it. They're really small lines, and apparently I'm getting old. So I got 25. I gotta use a white background. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. Twenty-nine 
28.85. All right, so we have our three titrated pills, green acid pills. We've all reached the end point. Um, if you missed it, the top care I had at 1.168 grams per tablet. The roll age was 2.570, and the Tums was 1.831. On the top care, I used 21.55 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. For the roll age, it was 28.85, and for the Tums, 29.0. So you're gonna use those numbers. You're gonna fill the rest of this chart out. If you have any questions, let me know, all right?